to Lisa's Pilates. Today we're going to be working on our core control. So we're going to start laying on our backs. Knees bent, feet hip distance apart, arms relaxed down by our side and then you're going to start by learning how to contract your pelvic floor muscles and your transverse abdominis. So your pelvic floor muscles are internal, so if you imagine you're halfway through going for a wee and you have to stop midway, they're contracting your pelvic floor muscles, so I want you to try contracting and releasing pelvic floor. Then if you imagine you've got a pair of trousers that don't fit you anymore and you're trying to get the button done up, you're sucking your belly button back towards the spine, narrowing your waistline and tightening that transverse abdominus muscle. So that should feel like you've activated that lower part of your stomach. If you're not sure you're doing that correctly, if you find your hip bones, bring your fingers in an inch and down an inch, so you're just above your groin, relax your muscles and then contract, belly, pull the belly button back towards the spine, you should feel that kick against your fingers and you'll know you've engaged the right muscles then. So try and engage your pelvic floor and your transverse abdominus muscle and that is you engaging your core. So to start with, we're just going to start with basic movement so thinking about getting your neutral spine correct so if you if you make a triangle with your hand so thumbs together fingers together place that down on your pelvis and then just tilt backwards and forwards you'll get to feel your lower back lifting off the floor and then pressing back down into the floor so just getting that rocking effect in between those two extremes you'll find your neutral position now this is different for everybody but you don't want to feel as if you've got a big gap between your lower back and the floor it should be just gently touching but without being forced down so find that neutral position engage your core and then we're just going to start with the basic knee lift so the foot comes off the floor knee comes above the hip leg at right angle and place it back down and then alternate sides as you go as you're going from one side to the other we're not worrying about how much leg movement we've got we're worrying about how stable you're keeping your lower back and your pelvis so if you want use your hands as a pressure gauge so you're trying to keep the pressure against your back still as you go through the movement or visualize your pelvis like a compass north south east and west as you switch from one leg to the other you're trying not to let the pelvis tip from east to west and as you're lifting and lowering the leg you're trying not to let it rock from north to south and then to progress that, so you can stick at that level if you're finding it challenging. Level two, you're going to bring the legs to 90 degrees and then you're just going to arc one leg down. Now on this one, as soon as you feel your back starting to lift, it's going to start. So if you get halfway down and you can start to feel that tip point, that's your end range. Until you get a little bit stronger through the core, don't try and work past that. So you're just thinking about opening that hip but keeping the back and the pelvis still. Breathing out as you lower the leg, breathing in as you bring it back up. And again if that feels easy, if you want to progress it, you're going to go on to straightening the leg, lengthening the lever, bringing it back in. Exhale as the leg goes away from you, inhale as you bring it back towards you. Try and keep the other leg stable at that right angle position if you can. Keep focusing on your core so you keep drawing the belly button back towards the spine. Keep tightening the pelvic floor, relax your shoulders, relax your neck. And then have a breather, hug your knees in. Good. Okay, slightly more advanced. If you, if you struggled with that one, repeat the same level. We're just going to do a slightly harder one for those that are comfortable with it. Starting with your hands on your knees, focus on that neutral position again, draw the core in tight, and the aim is to not let this move through the midsection. So you're going to take your arms up towards the ceiling, or the sky, legs up, circle the arms around, hug the knees back in. So for this one, level one is your legs go straight up. If you want to make it a bit more challenging, you're going to go out with the legs, circle around. If you want to make it even more challenging, you're going to go out along the floor. So the lower you go with the legs, the harder it is. If you want to make it even harder, lift your head into a bit of a crunch position. Focus on drawing in and down with the core so you haven't got that domed up effect happening. And then you can go out a little bit longer with the legs again. And protect your lower back a little bit as well. So you're breathing out as you open the body up. Breathing in as you come back to the middle. The 
you want to aim for about 10 repetitions of each if you can if you've got the time okay relax your head down hug your knees in okay feet back down arms back down by your side so we're still focusing on learning how to control the pelvis lower back and stop this rocking movement through the lower back and pelvis and learning to do what we like with the legs so we're coming back to bent knee position we're engaging our core again so pelvic floor contracted belly button back towards the spine and then this time you're just going to let one knee drop out to the side of the room now the knee drops out but the pelvis doesn't get dragged across with it so you're pinning the hips down keeping everything still so it's just the leg that's dropping and then coming back to the center repeat on the other side relax your shoulders relax your ribs down and focus on keeping one leg completely still whilst the other one drops out it should feel quite an easy movement but if you're engaging your core correctly you can still make yourself work quite hard with this one so you, the more you tighten those abdominal muscles particularly the transverse so sucking that belly button back towards the spine the more you'll feel that work in the lower part of your stomach breathing out as the knee drops away breathing in as you bring it back to the center and you're just trying to minimize that rolling across from side to side okay level two legs back to 90 degrees one leg stays where it is the other one drops out so same focus it's all about keeping the pelvis and the back completely still in neutral position you're strengthening those core muscles to stabilize that and you're allowing the legs to do whatever it is you want it to do and your third level straight legs one leg drops out and back to the center you can work on whatever level is appropriate as soon as you start feeling like you've lost control of it though through the back bring it back to an easy level okay feet back down relax your arms and then just loosen that off a little bit let your knees drop from side to side release your back relax your stomach okay and back to the middle okay we're going to bring our obliques in a little bit now these ones down the side so your hands come to the side of your head and then you're going to engage your core and your pelvic floor muscles and then you're going to bring your opposite elbow to knee to meet so you lift up rotate across get your elbow to touch your knee if you can and back down and then repeat the other side now because we're coming into a slight flexion movement what i don't want is the stomach domes upwards so you've got to draw the core in and down and then keep that contraction pulled in tight so that you don't just use the rectus abdominis which is the one that comes over the top the six pack muscles scoop everything in and down another thing to know when you're engaging your core you're not bracing yourself like you're getting ready for someone to smack you in the stomach it's not a forced movement it's a drawing in and i want you to imagine you're lengthening through the spine as you contract rather than shortening okay level two on this one you bring your legs to 90 degrees and then again you're going opposite elbow to opposite knee still but you extend the other leg out long bring it back to the center try and do this controlled and slow the slower it is the harder it is try not to just swing across from one side to the other get that control and get that rotation elbow to knee and back in okay and relax back down okay what's next v sits so bring yourself up into seated back straight feet off the floor hold a balance position and then from there i want you to imagine you're in a v position now so legs are up back straight chest is lifted tummy pulled in tight and then level one you're just going to extend one leg out and take one hand up and then the same on the other side as you do it i don't want you to collapse so try and keep lifted through the chest stomach pulled in tight and then it's just an extension of the leg now depending on your hamstring flexibility if you're really tight through the hamstring you might find you want to do that with your leg but we're aiming to try and get that length all the way up and through and then if that feels easy we're going to take both out 
at the same time and back in. The whole time I want you to stay up onto your coccyx and your sacrum, so base of your spine at the bottom, core is nice and tight, chest is lifted and then if you're finding it easy you're going to do a hold. So you're going to lift and hold. Good, okay, next one, I'm going to do roll ups and roll downs. So you're going to bring your hands behind your knees, same thing again, you're going to lift into a bit of a balance. Hold your core in, so belly button back towards the spine, and then slowly tilt the pelvis under, lowering your spine down bit by bit until your arms are straight. Then let the knees come with you, so it's a controlled lower down. Take a breath in, and then lift your head, shoulders, peeling your spine off the floor bit by bit until you come up into seated again. And again, just tuck it under. You're trying to get your back in a C shape, if you can. Slow and control. Try and breathe out on the way down. Inhale at that halfway point, and then breathe out to bring yourself back up. And then level two on this one. Straight legs, sit up tall, engage your core tuck under again from the pelvis so you're trying to get the base of your spine to touch the floor first slowly lowering down let your arms float up and over inhale and then leading with the arms exhale chin lift shoulders lift peel yourself off the floor reach all the way forwards touch your toes and then stack the spine lengthening back up sitting tall ready start again now if you want to make this even harder, you want to do it in super slow motion, particularly on the way up. So you're going to almost pause for a couple of seconds. So you're going to lift and then hold and then lift a little bit more and then hold and then lift a little bit more and then a little bit more and a little bit more. I feel like I've done this for a while. A little bit more. So you're just gradually coming it up. You're still trying to aim for that peeling effect. And then once you're up past the hard bit, you're going to reach all the way forwards again. And back up to a tall seated position. Good. Okay, let's have a go at the rollover now. This is quite an advanced one. Be careful if you've got any neck or shoulder problems, but relaxing all the way down onto your back. Level one for this one, just to work on that lower abdominal strength you're going to start with your knees at a right angle engaging the focus on your core again and not letting the back lift away from the floor you're going to go out to 45 degrees of the legs and back in out and back in if you've got the hang of that when you get out keep the legs straight and then aim them over your head and then just try and do a reverse lift and back down and again if that feels easy you're going to go all the way over into that rollover position so your legs come parallel to the floor and then slowly lower the spine back down when your bum touches let your legs drift away again to 45 degrees but don't let your back lift and then up and over into the rollover again to there slow and controlled to that back down Okay, one more progression on from that, the jackknife. So when you get to that full rollover position, you're then going to stay with your bum pointing upwards. Start with, have your hands there so you've got a bit of support. And then you're going to extend. And then don't move the back, just lower the legs. As low as you can go. And then back up. If you've got the hang of that, take your hands away and try the forward. Yeah, and then slowly lower back down. And we're done with our core control, we're done.